The Brown Alumni Magazine just published an article called Man Plus Machine, featuring Brown's first associate provost for AI, Michael Littman. I'm here with Michael, asking him some rapid fire questions about AI while he shows us his expert juggling skills. What exactly is an associate provost for AI? <laughs> well, everybody knows what a provost is. It's just an associate of those. Right. No, no, no. So I, my role is to help coordinate AI efforts in teaching, education, policy, communications, and operations across the university. What does LLM stand for? LLM are my initials backwards. Littman, Letterman, Michael. Mm. Oh, it's also large <laughs> language model. What's the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Deep learning is a kind of machine learning that really focuses on neural networks that have many, many layers. What does it mean for AI to be open source? It means that the, the programs and potentially the training data is all exposed and, 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 and known to all the people who have access to the system. What's your number one tip on what people can do to protect themselves on the internet in the age of AI? Don't be stupid. Do you think AI robots could take over the world? Not very well. Microsoft recently pledged to give $4 billion to AI education. Do you think professors should ban AI in classrooms? No, we need to be finding ways of incorporating AI into our work and into our classrooms that benefit people. In of classrooms, could you describe your teaching style in three words? Engage students creatively. What is your go-to for AI science and tech news? I like to read the New York Times, but uh, while I was in the federal government, I tended to read Politico. And what is your go-to website to do your taxes? <laughs> I do not use an online site to do taxes, but if I did, it would probably be TurboTax. And finally, what is your first order of business as Associate Provost for AI at Brown? To uh, let people know what we're doing across the campus and to start really focusing in on generating some guidance for how we can be using uh, AI chatbots successfully in the classroom. Awesome. Thank you so much.